A while back, I asked my hypnotherapist for advice about giving advice to my adult children. And the advice he gave me, really, I actually hated it. And the only reason I listened to him is because he has 30 years experience and I trust him to tell me what I need to hear instead of what I want to hear. And the advice he gave me about giving advice to my adult children is don't. So what I'm going to tell you in this video applies to giving advice to any adult, whether it's your parents, whether it's a friend, whether it's our adult children. It's not necessarily meant for your relationship with kids, although it, perhaps it could work. I have no idea how, how it would work with kids. You can try it and let me know. And so his answer was to ask permission before giving advice. And he told a story about his adult daughter when she was home from college. She was talking about a really stressful thing that was happening in her life. And he looked her in the eye and he said, I hear you talking about, you know, this stressful situation. And I'm wondering, do you, what do you need from me? Do you need me to just listen? Or would you like to hear my ideas about how to make this better? And I can't even remember if she said yes or no. But at the time I thought that is so kind and so respectful and so loving that it sounds like a beautiful solution. And at the same time, I thought, I do not want to do that. <laughs> um, and he shared that when we boss our kids around, when we boss other adults around, and when we try to inflict our opinion on them, it actually creates a wedge in that relationship. So it can be really scary. I know it can be really scary to imagine our kids screwing up to imagine the choices they might make if we don't control freak them. <laughs> I don't know if you do that like I do, but I, I tend to want to be a control freak. And it can be really scary to think about our kids making um, poor choices. So we try to influence them and really meddle in their lives to get them to make the choice that we think is the right one. And so it can be really helpful for you to get into a place where you imagine like what's the worst that can happen? Sometimes it might be really, really awful. Sometimes it might be a really terrible outcome. And so when we start to realize, okay, if that happens, like it's going to suck, but I can feel this and be okay. It's going to be okay, even if that thing happens. And the thing is, even if we give our advice, there's still a really strong chance that 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 hard thing might happen. In fact, when we offer unsolicited advice that people aren't wanting, it actually boosts the odds of them doing the opposite or of them resenting it of, or of it creating a wedge in our relationship. So here's some guidelines. If, if you ask for permission to give advice in a really respectful and kind way, from a place like they can sense our intention. And so if we do it from a place where we're genuinely wanting to get permission first and to not do it, if they say no, if they say yes, I invite you to just really treat them with respect as you offer your ideas and treat them like the capable adult that they are. Or if they're not a capable adult, treat them as the capable adult that you want them to be or that you imagine them being in the future. Because when we look at someone through the eyes of imagining them at, the, at their as their highest self, it actually helps them begin to, it creates space for them to step into that role themselves when they're in our presence. So again, they, they may or may not take that advice and that sucks, but I invite you just to have compassion and to realize that when we are a control freak, it actually makes things worse. When we offer unsolicited advice, it, it drives them away. Like I mentioned earlier, it makes them more likely to do the thing we don't want them to do. It makes them want us to go jump in a lake and it makes them feel bad about themselves. Often when we give people unsolicited advice, we actually push them away and make them feel less loved and we have less influence in their life and it hurts the relationship. But when we seek permission first, they feel more loved and respected. It enhances the connection that we have with that person. And when we ask permission first and they say yes, it actually makes them much more likely to actually follow the advice. So as a recap, when you have, when you want to give advice to your grown children, your parents, or really any adult in your life, my, my advice to you is don't unless they ask for it and then do it with love and respect. I've started even doing this with my clients in a one-on-one -on -one session when they are there for my advice. If I say, Hey, I have an idea about this. Would, would you like me to share it? 
then they start to lean in and they're so much more interested in what I'm going to say than if I'm just like trying to force my opinion on them. All right. I double dare you to try this the next time you have a person that you want to give advice to, an adult person, and notice how your peace level rises, how the connection between you and that person rises, whether they say yes or no, and how respect rises. If you're a Trancy Tuesdays member, Trancy Tuesdays is a group hypnosis session that I do every week. I did a group hypnosis session that helps a person step into a freedom around advice giving so that they don't feel like they have to do it. And you can watch that on the January 9th replay. If you're not already a Trancy Tuesdays member, uh, you can comment below this video and I'll show you how to become one. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, you will love my answer room hypnosis audio. It is free and you can get immediate access and it will allow you to make a decision about that choice you've been trying to make, but you're not sure if you should go this way or you should go this way. And it will give you amazing clarity and forward momentum. And one of the things you'll love most about it is how it doesn't just give you clarity about the decision you want to make, but it fills you with the confidence and courage to continue to move forward toward that decision and make the right decision in a way that is easy and enjoyable for you. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.